Yo, get paso, Teresa. Yes. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> so what are we to do with you, Henry? Okay, so you see this right here? How did you manage to survive? You see the icon? That basically takes you into the woman's lot part of DLC. We're not going to do that today. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Easy peasy. Yeah. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. It's the Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. How's he doing? A lot better now. Welcome. I slipped Whoa. him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. Hey, Dad Wrestler, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it, my friend. Subscription with Prime. Well, you're Prime in my heart. Thanks again, Dad Wrestler. Appreciate the support. Supporting the channel. What does Miller think about it? Is he obedient? What does the Miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. <laughs> How's that? The Miller's a real piece of shit. Every time he sees honestly. him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Oh, Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. Yo, he was happy rapid? to eat it. Fast food delivery? didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. Yep. Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own. And I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoiled then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. <laughs> he runs Impressed. off now and again, but Hello. he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. Mm. So, I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. Hey, look at the pommel of the sword, no uh, the, the hilt, sorry, of the sword Henry has when it zooms out. I have to think it over. I think I'll take the dog. Uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Mhm. Mm there's a there's a perk you could get with the um with the with the dog that increases your charisma when you have him. It's like good doggy or something like that. Uh where's the dog? I just had to I just need to hear him bark or something. What? Mutt, where'd you go? Come on, we got herbs to pick. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, so it's not marigold, the plant that I was thinking about. What is the plant? I forget. It's, it's kind of got like a star shape to it, I remember. Maybe it was belladonna? Is it belladonna? Can't sprint while overloaded. Right, I'm a little bit overloaded. Okay, seriously, where did that dock? This place is pretty big, but... Oh, there he is. Mutt, come here. We're gonna have a bunch of stuff to sell in town. Hey, you boo boy. Mutt. Remember me. So do we take the dog, Scalics. chat? Remember? I think we'll take the dog. You wanna go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house on fire. <laughs> we'll get on like a house on fire. That's a follow me. Pretty interesting uh term. Yeah. 
So let's see. Um, from this moment on, you have a canine companion. He's your best friend who will protect and help you. But you must take good care of him. You can talk to him and feed him, ideally with meat. Give him, give him commands and reward him with praise. With the cursor, you can give him all sorts of commands, such as heal. You have a new skill, Houndmaster. It determines how well your dog has trained and what commands you've taught him. You gain experience by using the commands and other interactions with your four-legged friend. In the sidekicks tab, you can see the stats, uh, the most important of which is obedience. It tells you whether your dog obeys you or not. Its level will keep falling with every injury and also if you neglect your dog for a long time. Doggo. If obedience falls too low, your dog will stop heeding some of your commands. If it falls to zero, your dog will run off and it will take some time before he comes back to you. During that time, you will, won't be able to give commands. The higher the obedience is, the better the stats the dog has. He will defend himself and you better cause greater damage to foes and will take longer before he decides to run off again. You can improve your dog's obedience mainly by feeding and praising him, but doing it several times in succession over a short period is less effective than praising and feeding him regularly. Exactly. Speaking of which... Hello. Wait. The hell, Mutt. Come here. There you go. Okay, first, who's a good boy? Good fella. Who's a good boy? Mm -hmm. That's my boy. And also, I think I have some you meat. What I've got for you. You'll love this. Did you say food? Yeah, we're gonna get along. All right, let's give him some dried meat. Good boy. All right, I'm a little bit overloaded here. Uh, by how much? Three. You know what? I think we could leave these maps behind. Mm. Yeah, let's leave these maps behind in the stash, and uh, we'll be back for those uh, later. This is gonna be one of our, uh, one of our. Uh, camps, I guess you could call it. Home. You can't really call it a home. That's the thing. There we go. We are no longer overburdened. Because we got rid of that paper. Alright, let's go, Mud. I can't really pick up much. Nope. I got point, point 0.2 carrying capacity left. So let's go into town and sell some stuff. Some of that sweet loot we got. Ah, uh, here's a bathhouse. Very important. Especially uh, before going on a date, we want to brush up. You know, look at our finest. Press the ladies. It's quite a jaunt to get up uh, to Retai. Doggo, come on. Must resist picking herbs by the wayside. <sighs> Must not pick herbs until equipment load lower. Don't pick it, don't pick it. The loot goblin in me is just going nuts. Also, look at this. Now that is some nice level design. Or should I say world design. This game is freaking beautiful. Can you pick those? Yes, you can. Oh, it's... Hey, dudes. Halt. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz Blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? What makes you think he'll see you? Mm. Now, this is probably our best bet right now. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my Damn job it. to stop you. Now bugger off. I may not look the part. But I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. I should have started with that. But hey, live and learn. Speaking of which, now that we're in town, we should probably save. 
Let's uh, do a little inventory check. Save your schnapps. We got six. And uh, we will not be picking up many over time. So we have to uh, we have to be very careful about how we uh, use these. All right, where is he? Give me a second, chat. There he is. Recognize this lad? So many people died and this bastard had to survive. Frickin' Kunesh survived the siege, unfortunately. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me, by the way. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Hmm. <sighs> Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Ah, it worked. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's, that's it. That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Alright. Uh, so we got a quest for it, right? Yeah, scavenger. Find a treasure under the dovecot. So for those that don't know what a dovecot is, it's basically like a big bird cage. A bird house, I should say. Hmm. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring. Asparagus for taste. <laughs> winter has been uh, rough. Rougher on some. Let us see if we could find the finest greens. Oh, okay, right? Heavens, lad. You're looking bright eyed and bushy tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. But so this is the apothecary that healed us. About that About debt. That so I hope I owe him. It'll take me a while longer. It'll take me a while longer. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll honor your. This guy's so nice. By the way, would you like to buy some herbs? Belladonna, yes, this is the fancy one. Okay, we got a lot of marigold going on here. Two, let's see, uh, 24, 5, 6, 7. Just have to keep a handful of marigold. Let's keep like 5. So, 17 of you. Is there anything else you'll buy? You'll buy food. Okay. Let's see, fancy foods on top. Let's sell the fancy salami. I think I'll keep this dried meat for mutt. And these aren't worth spit, fortunately. So it's carrots. Keep the bread. Keep the cheese. Actually, cheese makes us sleepy. How much? Uh, it has a good amount of nourishment, but it makes us sleepy. So let's sell the cheese. And I think we'll live with the rest. Get 6.1. Cool. Oh, you want to buy this? Hmm. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll sell it to the proper, like, merchants. But, uh, yeah, good to know. Good to know. Do we have the War Horse Camps in? We do. And the Sea Axe and everything. Cool. We'll try and fix the Sea Axe ourselves. You'll see how. Uh, basket. Haggle. Always haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Why not? ABH. Always be haggling. I'm gonna get 
Let's say 6.7. We agreed? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. Cool beans. And we did some good business, so we got a reputation buff. Ooh. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my livelihood. Be merciful, good people. Yeah, that's uh, rough stuff, rah. Rough stuff. Also, uh, let's actually put on our gloves here. Wash again. Maybe it'll clean our hands. Because they're all muddy. Nope, still muddy. Cool. Um... So is there there's a tailor there. There's a um, smith or whatnot here. Do you have a grindstone by any chance? Guess not. I'm honored that you should come to me. Oh jeez. Good luck to you. Ooh, brigandines. Cool. Brigandines, better known as the poor man's plate. Let's see, sell that, sell that, sell... Since this doesn't have more defense, let's sell that. Let's keep the padded coif, get rid of the big one. And the hood, yeah, sell the linen hood. Do I get rid of the green shirt? Linen shirt is a basic garment worn by rich and poor. Prisma 5. Compared to... Prisma 8. No, this gambeson is much prettier. Don't think I'll ever use this. Hmm. Okay, sell that. Keep the ring. For memory's sake. Male color, coif we could equip. Cool. Let's see, you get 47. Not bad. Let's see. Check basket. Haggle. Let's talk about the price. Excuse me. Well, we can try it. Let's try 51. Satisfied? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little, and we'll agree. Yeah, won't push too much. Don't want to piss them off. Especially not here. About 49.5. Aye, that would do it. Is he singing or summoning something sinister? I, I can't tell. Also, can we... It's actually properly making a kettle hat. Can we just appreciate the, the animation there? It's actually how you make a round shape. As far as I know. Oh, you would have to hit harder, but still. Oh. Okay, uh, let's see about some repairs. Let's see, CX new. Uh, those counters, nah, I'm not gonna repair that. Okay, good talk. See ya. What else do we have on us? Put that on, put that on. Uh, the red, decorated red... Waffenrock. Waffenrock. It's uh, not an ugly piece of garment, actually. So Probably keep that. And uh, yeah, in this game, you got proper medieval clothing. So you know, it's like a very, uh, very colorful kind of pops. It's not like in uh, when you watch uh, just about any medieval movie these days, everybody's like in dark tans and browns and blacks. Seems like, oh, we're in the dark age, you know? Now look at how people are dressed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Wait, you don't have repairs? About you. God be with you. God be with you too, good sir. Good luck to you. So, how much would that cost me? Sure. 
Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Satisfied? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Oh, come on. Okay, two. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Ding, ding. Reputation gain. So, uh, doing a little bit of haggling here there. Good for your reputation. And uh, did it clean it? Yeah, it cleaned up the Waffen Rock when we did that. Cool. So, our armor is looking pretty good. Our boots are beat up, but we'll, we'll be replacing those before long. And you also have a few more... Um, a few more slots. Eh? We got body chainmail and we got body plate. So you got it like a chainmail piece and then you put like a plate over it. Got quite a few layers going on. Got you got your hose, you got your leg chainmail, and you got your leg plate, and you got your boots. You got four slots just on your legs. Pillory. Nice. Okay, so let's go upwards towards the um, the place of Sir Hanush and Radzik. I'm gonna try and remember the names, use the proper ones. By the way, oops, wrong button. There is a codex. There should be characters. Sir Markbart on Owlets. This is our nemesis for the game. Was the hetman or governor of Prague, who, much like those members of the nobility disgruntled with the reign of Wenceslas IV, saw in Sigismund of Luxembourg a better potential king. Their motivation had more to do with money and power. Wenceslas offered them no prospects, while supporting Sigismund promised them a better future position in society. Are these like proper portraits and shit? Maybe, maybe not. Nah, the faces. I don't know about the faces, though. Looks like they made them to look like the character models in-game. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not gonna go through all of that. Yeesh. Yo, Mutt. Let's go. Now, do I go there? Uh, shit. Let's go this way. Because I have a quest. Vengeance. Get Father Swordvark. Find a Mark Park von Alitz and avenge your parents. And go to Perkstein to see Sir Ratzik. Perkstein is... Oh no, Perkstein is down there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the... Because there's like a smaller castle in the area. This is like the main one, I believe. Yeah, this is not the right castle. The princess is in another castle. Also, look at this chapel. Rob the church. Indulgence, 100 corrosion. Yikes. Neat. They did their research, the devs of this game. Holy crap. Also, can I use this grindstone? No problem. Oh, you gotta love how the blacksmith is dressed like our father. It's kind of weird. Must be a standard eight higher. Be of some humble service to you. Okay, so like uh, if we were to fix the CX, he would uh, charge us 18.5. Well, let's see if we can't fix it ourselves. 18.5. What's that 47 condition? Let's see if I can't make it worst. Hey, Dark Fox 2100, thank you for the following. All right, uh, help. Let's see, I don't remember much about this. If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit and hone it yourself on a grindstone, which you can find at every smithy. Just approach the grindstone and yeah, yeah. The weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. You select which part using like that. The blade must be held at the correct angle to the grindstone. If the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpened. If it's too steep, you can dull the blade. Control the angle using up and down. You have to keep the grindstone turning using space. Uh, you must also exert the correct pressure to make sure that you hone the edge at, at all. Pressing it also depletes your stamina. Press, uh, press up. 
And to release, use that. Can recognize correct honing by flying sparks, whereas black smoke coming from under the blade tells you are damaging it. Well, honed blade is smooth and shiny. Oh, look at it. Look at the blade on the CX jet. See that? Okay, so let's start here. And let's try something. Else. Funny how I seem to be depleting my stamina but I could still grind. It's looking much better already. Well, the texture looks so so. The sword is at 98% condition. <laughs> Son of a blacksmith. Yo. Alright, let's try selling the sword now. I'm really impressed by the animations of the blacksmiths. It's like they brought a whole bunch of people into the studio and say, yo, can you like just bang some shit up, you know, some proper smiths and say, we'll, we'll like motion capture you or something. All right. The CX is worth a lot more now. It's at 90. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off more than that. All right. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Oh, uh, five groschen. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven point two. Finally, a reasonable sum. Cool beans. So yeah, blades are are great because you could sharpen them to increase the condition almost to max, and then you can uh, basically make more money off of them by repairing them yourself. Hey, dude. Also, let's see if we can. Um, Enlist for the attorney. It's gonna be at this guy here, the Herald. Greetings. What business have you? Your mum. I want I'd to like enroll to in the attorney. Big tournament. You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanish announces another one. Come then, and I'll gladly sign you up. Okay, there's, there's nothing going on right now, it seems. Take care now. What? Okay, let's go to the... Uh, so this is where Sir Hanush is set up, I think. So this is like the main place, and we want to go down to uh, the smaller keep. Because there's like a side keep, essentially. That's where Sir Radzig is staying, I think. Gonna have to get used to the whole like no, no map marker thing and whatnot. Yeah, like we this is our area where we could find the quest essentially. Already starting to get tired, great. But we didn't sleep much lately. But then again, didn't we just get up after resting like a lot? Guess not. Yeah, this is a dove cot for those that don't know, chat. Garden and field. Knives, axes, rapes, Okay, so there is... I think that's, yeah, the little keep that we're talking about. You there. Come here a moment. Me? My respect to you. Hi. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work Help to do? People, no, please. I don't. I'm from Sigismund's marauders took I everything I had and reduced me to beggary. Beggary, is that even a word? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only 
I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that... My honestly begged Russian. Asdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, mm -mm. I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? No, sorry. I'm not a thief. Find someone else. A pox on you, your kin and all your descendants. Call yourself a Christian? Turning your back on a neighbor in need? Take care now. You all know what happens there. He, did you did you catch what he just said to me? A pox on you and all your kin. Luckily, my kin are dead, but yo. That shit, man? That's enough for me to go medieval on your ass. And pull out my sword and go like, pop, pop, pop. Peasant paste. Oh. Could that be the smith's son, huh? Hal? Hey, it's the boys. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? That's one ugly I helmet. You were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scarlet. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. So, I could go? Alright, do I want to go more up than this? Let's just... I'm not sure exactly where it is. Hopefully I'm not trespassing here. Uh, definitely not that way. Ooh! Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh... That's nice for privacy, eh? <laughs> Wait, can I sit here? <laughs> uh, excuse me! Can I have a moment? Get up, escape. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like, just an open shitter like that. Like, okay then. Or is this like a garbage chute or something? I think it's a shitter. Hello. Uh. Uh, yeah, this is not where I need to be. Okay, I could probably just do both, true. Alright, this, maybe? Oh, look, you got another one. Oops. I found him in the shitter. Your I'm graces, stuck. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, 
There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? Savage. Let's get your sword back. <laughs> a sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? 
Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Boom. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't it disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Yeah, I gotta hand it to the game. The dialogue is top-notch. Awakening. It's a nice bill hook you got there, buddy. Train hard, fight easy. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. All right, let's try and do that before night comes. Sorry, bro. I like the cutscene. I've mostly just seen the gameplay of this title in isolation. Oh, is that so? Welcome, Iron Imp, by the way. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, um, this game actually has really good dialogue, really interesting characters, too. And, uh, I don't know, there's just something about it that, um, really entertains me. I mean, just look at the architecture of the place. This is some, like, legit reconstructions, at least, uh, from what the, uh, the research the devs made could pull out. So, you know, they made the, they made a, what can I say, a, a likely castle. <laughs> now, I think I remember where the Sir Bernard is going. He might not be there yet, though. Yeah, the Unreal Engine really makes it pop. Not Unreal. Cry Engine. Yeah. This doesn't look like uh, Unreal. I think. Uh, so we can't stop there. I know that there's a there's an inn on the other side of the castle over here. Got him crisscrossed. Ah, that's fine. Yo, my dog was moonwalking there. Who are you? Hey, that looked like my friend, uh, what's-his-face. By the way, I think, uh, I think our friend survived the siege. Ooh. As long as it's not Chris Cross Christ. <laughs> Conciliation Cross. Carol Bushman. All right, if we overeat. Wait, can I just take these apples? Like, for free. It's not robbing. Usually it says, like, rob when you're about to steal something. Hm. Food for the people, thus me. I guess it's a bit hard to nail down in an... I guess it's a bit hard to nail down in an open world, but how many hours are you in on the main story? Uh, we pro we pretty much only did the main story up until now, Iron Imp, no, and... He's not here. It, we should stop by during the day. Yeah, he's not here because the day's pretty much over, so we're going to be tucking in for the night. Probably just uh, picking a whole bunch of poppies and whatnot to pay for the inn. 
So yeah, uh, we have been playing for four hours and 20 minutes, and that's when we started the game. This is the first session of it, and we've almost only done um, the main quest. So it's roughly... Let's give it uh, four hours. Ooh, St. John's Word. So let's do some uh, AoE herb picking here to make some spare cash. So yeah, fun thing about Ratai too is that there is a there's a rule, there's a law in which at night you have to carry a torch or else the people might mistake you for a footpad, a common criminal. So you could actually be fined for walking around without a torch. Which is why I picked one up uh, off of a corpse. I'll go. Ooh. Speaking about night. Yeah, it's coming. I wonder, does the condition of a torch degrade? I'm just gonna equip it now. Just so that we're not caught. Dark. In Japan, people were not really afraid of night like people were in Europe. Is that so? Uh, well, I guess I'll praise There's the dog. Good doggy. Good doggy. Mm. That's my boy. I'll feed you tomorrow morning. But yeah, every now and then you want to just say good boy. You really like dogs, don't you, Gibbet? Dismiss the pooping mechanic. Well, you know what? You might see him pinch one out every now and then. Who knows? Alright, sun's going down. It's going to be time to rest soon. But, uh, you know, the sun goes down and we still have a few hours to burn. So uh, let's go to the tavern that's over here and maybe see if we can gamble a little bit. We'll see. Oops. That's something. For a second, I thought I was hearing somebody fight in the distance. It was just some random yelling. I did. It's weird, I hear a whole bunch of people, but there's nobody here, almost. I don't see a gambling table. Oh, there's one. How do you find the combat in this? The Hema stuff struck me as very interesting, though I've heard some people say it's a bit hard to navigate with the mouse. It's a bit jank. It's not, like, super fluid, but it's there. You know, um... You also, a lot of people, they have the bad habit of button uh, button mashing, and your character, you know, you only perform so many actions per minute uh, that some people overdo it, essentially. You have to you have to time your clicks and whatnot. I like it. Anyway, I like the historical, like, manuscript-type combat with the longsword and everything. Proper techniques. Face cracker and stuff like that. Mmm, chicken. Hey, herbalism leveled up. What what level is our herbalism, by the way? Uh, seven. Nice chicks, pretty much. At ten, we'll probably be getting a uh, leg day, which will be quite nice. So we could power level uh, strength when when picking herbs. Ale house made. Oh, oh, that's a private area. Nope. Innkeeper. There he is. Sometimes these guys have quests, too. Be with you. And with you, good sir. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. Bertold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. 
why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Her told the local gamekeeper. I think I know about that. Straight. Oh, you won't buy herbs, though. So. Feels bad, man. Okay, let's sell. Hmm, do we sell any of this? Most of it is good, uh, although these are a lot of apples. Yeah, let's keep it. Yeah. I think it's uh I think it's entertaining, essentially. It's not too jank that it annoys me. It's not perfect. Probably needed a slightly different uh, medium or approach. Um but um I think it's fine. It's really fine. Let's see, let's eat some apples. What time is it? Uh, it's pretty late. Pretty darn late actually. I think we could sleep through the night. Have you got a bed for the night? All right. For how long? One night. Just the one night? No problem. But you pay in advance. Uh, sure. Uh, two groschen is fine. You By the way, we have enough money to pay back the apothecary. So, like, the miller going like, oh, Where the hell's, uh, where the, hell's the money? On the upper floor of the inn. There's steps up to it outside. The second door. Hey, 425 for horse armor. Are you making fun of uh, Oblivion there? Please don't shoot. God be with you. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to what he said about where the house is. Actually, come to think of it, the forest and countryside is actually kind of remindful of a more realistic take kind of landscape from. Well, yeah, they basically took pictures. They took pictures to, uh, to basically map out the area and the buildings and whatnot. I think this is the right place. Hey, that's my stash. Nice. So this stuff moves around. Is there anything we would like to put down? Because ring, no. No. How heavy are these? 2.5 total, I think, right? So that's good for making potions, is it? Put down just a few of these. And let's put away not St. John's worth. This will poppy. Put down that. And where is Oh, I don't have the others. Okay, cool. So marigold poppy thistle delirium. Yeah, all the other herbs we could keep on us. You remember the Oblivion DLC scandal? I used to quite like the Bethesda open world RPGs, but I think I'm just kind of burned out on them. Started on them with Morrowind. Yes, uh, likewise, Iron Imp, I started around Morrowind on those. And uh, they got... Without mods, um, I'm, I'm just not interested anymore. Okay, nourishment. What I like, too, is that it gives you a... Um, gives you an approximation. Oh, doggo. Yeah, let's see if we can let the doggo in. I don't like a Skyrim re 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 edition. Re? To heal, Mutt. Can he come up here, Mutt? What? I don't think he comes into buildings. Yeah, I don't think he follows you into buildings. Reduced the streamlined dialogue that I've been doing kind of dulled my interest a bit. Yeah. This game is a breath of fresh air. Hmm. Yeah, but I um I basically played vanilla Skyrim for a bit, then discovered mods, and then things kind of just went nuts. Alright. So I really like that you see how much nourishment you have by the time you stop sleeping. So even with our tapeworms, it's not a problem. Yes, we have 
We have the tapeworms debuff, which reduces our nourishment a lot faster. Oh. Might be able to get into the tourney as well. Oh yeah, but now we have our nightmares too. That's a problem. Alright, let's eat... Breakfast time. Four Henry's is more. It's the nightmares that are the worst. That be debuff lasts for like two hours. Mutt, come here. Hey, come here, boy. Good morning. Who's a good boy? Fella. Yeah, um, I'll show you in a minute. When you play hardcore That's difficulty, you choose two debuffs. At least. Look what I've got for you. And uh, we took this. nightmares and tapeworms. You go, doggo. You go, boy. So yeah, if you go here, buffs. We have nightmares right there. Actually, you could see it right here. There you go. So we have tapeworms, which basically makes our hunger go down. You can't unwarm you? No, you cannot. It's a buff for the difficulty of the game. It's not a it's not like a story thing. It's a debuff. Actually. It's for the difficulty. And nightmares. Uh so essentially two two hours after waking up, we have a debuff to our stats, as you can see here. And tapeworms basically makes our hunger go down faster. And I do not think that we can get rid of the tapeworms. Now let's see. Light Rider. Now we still have... Now we have another point to pick up. Let's see what we got here. Increase the time you could go without sleep. Your energy levels fall 15% more slowly. Penalties for that. No, I'm going to take Insomniac. Is there like more levels to Insomniac? No. So essentially you need to sleep less. See, we're taking perks that offset the issues of our uh, of our penalties that we took. And Leoder. Yeah, I don't know about the stealth penalty, though. That Even though we're not going to be stealthing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's go see Sir... Uh, what's his face? Hey, Cash Taniasti. Thank you for the following. Imagine back in the day, tapeworms were a way of losing weight. Monka. Yeah, it was. Natural uh, diet pills. Chat, if you're worried that you have worms, buy piperazine. Really good. No side effects. Yeah, please don't shoot set it so I have doubt. Press X to doubt. So where's the dude? He's not here yet. Okay, well, while uh, we wait for him to arrive, we'll pick some herbs and we'll uh, enlist into the tourney. Because despite, I'm, let's, um, <laughs> I never take, please don't shoot seriously. <laughs> it's like, I'm being serious for once, god damn it. My words, they mean something. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what happened when you make too many jokes, please don't shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the tournament. And if it's now, I'm going to do it. And I might get my face kicked in, but that's fine because it's XP. And also free food. Mm -hmm. Where's the tourney guy? Where is everybody? Hey, you look familiar. Hey, you look familiar. Hey, he's Mr. Hanush. He can't even talk to him. No troll, goddammit. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we'll just uh, clean up uh, the the arena here. Get some, there's some stuff growing around it. I think they're all around close to 8 a.m. Yeah, we got up a little bit too early. Probably should have slept in a little bit. If we could, um, eventually we're going to learn to read. And we're going to practice reading uh, with various books, which is a good way to pass time. But for now... Oh, except not being taken seriously as a badge of honor. You do that. Yeah, you actually have to practice reading in the game. 
I had to go work, but I'm back. I feel like I missed a lot. Uh, yes. Unfortunately. A little bit too much to do a recap. But essentially, we are in Ratai, and we are now under the um, employment of uh, Sir Ratzig of Kabila. We are some some sort of a squire now, I guess. Or maybe we're just as Johnny on the spot. And we are waiting for our instructor to come in so that he can teach us the art of combat. Probably get our face kicked in as well. What time is it? Oof. Yeah. Might have to wait. Gonna have to wait for a little bit. So I'm gonna use this time to pick up a whole bunch of herbs and increase our money. Oh, you know what we could do? We might be able to cross town and pay the apothecary for his services. Because we have a 50 groschen penalty. Oh, that's nice clipping there. We have a 50 groschen penalty to pay due to, uh, well, us being... Knocked unconscious for like two weeks. As part of the story. Not the best place for picking herbs. You want uh, stuff that's like really condensed like this. Because I think you get like uh, XP per herb. So you want the AoE pickup. Does time move in real time, or is this game a sort of one minute, five, five? It's, um, one day is definitely not one real time day, Iron Imp. I, I can't say about how much, but I get the feeling that a day is roughly like two hours real time. I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like that. I think it's too long to be an hour. Two hours might be a, a safe bet, but, uh, I don't know. Hey, there we go. Win the tourney if you can. I didn't even sign up. Anyway. Where's the, uh, where's the dude? Where's the Herald? You're not the Herald. Who are you? You're not the Herald. Everybody's showing up now. Houndsman? Good day to you. What do you need? Yeah. I'll be with you. Your townsman. Hey. Sorry. He's like, hey! Don't push me. The dildo. God be with you. And with you, good sir. Yeah, no. Okay, I think that the um the herald's gonna come out in a minute. Or just about. Love the the OG lamp right here. Definitely not a fire hazard. Yo, look at this guy, Black Peter. This is a guy that you can fight, by the way. Look at this, Chad. Okay, everybody's showing up. This this guy has a name. Jesus Christ be praised. Yeah, never know. You fight for coin? Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Wait, what? Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? May the Lord I, am, I don't know what this is about. Well, it looks like we could get into fistfights, Chad Peter. Pretty much. Oh, where's the Herald? I think he's in there. Can I go in there? Nope. Maybe he's upstairs. That's Sir Hanush. Sorry. Am I going here? This trespassing? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Uh, no, not yet. I'm trying to find the Herald. Hmm. No. Can't. Playing the thief could be. Oh, there he is. He's, he's there. He's there. Finally moved in. God bless you. What troubles you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Hanush's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Three score groschen? Shit, that's a lot. Is 
Let's do it. Here you are. What's your name? Henry of Scallets. Henry from Scallets. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> He's like a little giddy boy. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, but but I'm gonna go with um short sword and shield, hunting sword and shield. The short sword and shield. Short sword and shield, definitely. Good. Get yourself ready. I'm gonna Your get my face gone. kicked in, but I hope just to get a little bit of XP. It's good experience. Increase your warfare, strength, everything. Okay, uh, I actually forget what's the button to block. It's Q. Gotcha. Special attack, F. Block using that. Good luck. Thanks. I'll try not to look like a total ass. There's a conflict. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's just reset. And because I put it on these, right. Let's see. Toggle crouch goes on that. Sprint goes on that. Confirm. Okay, so Q to block. That's going to take some getting used to. The first okay, my sword is out already. Of Beneshoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. Oh, look at this, Chad. And he will face Henry of Skelets. From the company of Sir Radzik Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. Thanks. The combatants have entered the <laughs> arena and the first duel may commence. Yay! Our combatants will demonstrate. Let's immediately get decapitated. Roll shield. credits. Oh. I was blocking! Ow! Ouch, ouch. Jeez, Louise. Wow. I'm fine. Change weapons for the second bout. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Wow. I think I'll just block. Or not. He's always gonna counterattack me. Don't get into a clinch. Don't get into a clinch. Ha ha! Ow! Ow! Good practice, chat. Hey! hey. Increase agility. Jesus Christ! What about it? How about you, villain? Okay, stamina up. Okay, just don't die too fast. That's my objective there. Come on. Ah. Aha! Now! Have to be careful of those counterattacks. Don't get too close. Anyone attack me? Ow! No, the clinch. What'd you call me? Ow! I don't... I'm not crazy about uh, blocking on Q, by the way. I think I should move that. Okay, let's... Um... Let's see here. Put that there and remove the block. I think I just have to... Let's see, uh, sprint like so, and block I'm gonna put on that. Eh. Eh, no, mom! Mommy! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Out! Meanie! Hey, he didn't drop me yet. God damn. Aha. Woo. Ow. Ow. 
Mommy! Hey! Leveled up sword. I like these hunting swords. They're pretty dope. Nope. Shit. Clinch. Hey! I got him! I hit him! I did the thing! I got him again! I can win! I can win, chat! Ow! I'm getting fucked! Uh, messed up! Hurt! Ow! Okay, don't get... Don't get, like, confident. Not even overconfident. Don't get confident. That's how you win. Ah. Curse you! Win? Oh! I poked him in the face! That's the best you got. Damn it. Ah, must be annoying the hell out of you. Don't get cocky, kid. Pretty much. I almost got it. Damn. Followed up. Thanks. Mm, a little bit. Ow! Take that! Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That's a Darkest Dungeon reference, isn't it? Aha! Yo, I might go for a shield build with this character. I'm liking it. Come on, I was landing a blow right there. Damn it. Yeah, got him. Bollocks. Aha. Right in your bollocks. What's the matter? Lost your balls? Nope, not yet. Ow. Ow! Shit. No! It's the end! Oh dear, did that hurt? Yes. Yo, the fact that I lasted, like, minutes is impressive. So it was worth the Groshen chat. These guys are really tough. These, uh, these guys are the real deal. Ow! Oh, I'm down. The first guy, though, that was... Sheesh. I think I'm done, maybe? That's two out of three. Ouch. That's fine. And you see, we are healed of all of our, all of our injuries, and we upped... We got some skills up, which is quite nice. Got warfare up to one, and then almost two. Got defense up to one. And I think we got swords up to one. Swords up to two. Oh, yeah, a fair bit better. First, first round, I just got my ass handed to me, and it was, like, embarrassing. Second one did a lot better. I was starting to get the hang of the shield and stuff, and I re... And I changed the key on it, because moving with WASD and blocking with Q is not... It's just... N no. Oh, I have to go see the other trainer guy. Hey, doggy. Excitement, surprises, and glory. I now declare the Rattai tournament open. Combatants... I just want to check this guy's suit out. All over the place. Alright, where's the dude? Where's the dude? Sir, what's his face? Oh, there he is. Alright, let's go train. Training. Alright, I need a manly montage song. Good day and now you. you're a man. Manly, manly, man. I'm here for training. Says already beat up. That boy, Sir Ragsick, said. Yeah, that's me. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then. That's what Sir Ragsick wishes. Mm -hmm. uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler.
A, it's expensive. B, when he slaps the shit out of you, you pay for your own bandages. You have to win two rounds against the same dude. Ah, I see. Let's start with the basics. I know a few things. Let's start with the Very basics. Well. I want the most XP for free as you in a controlled environment as possible. Good luck to you. Yeah, you got it. Blood sword. Let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. But the long sword is pretty nice too, you know. Stand still when your life depends on it. Okay. Oh, from when you train with this guy, gotcha. Right, good. Now, try attacking. Yes, sir. Got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Well done. Not bad. Very good. There you go. Good. Ah, that's it. Very good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Stabby. Not bad. All right. Nice. Leveled up strength. Nice. Some basic strength going. That will do. Slashing, That's the fun thing about this game, about chat. I feel like I'm training. <laughs> now, let's try something more complicated. Like it matters. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. All right. That's it. All right. Stamina. Not bad. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Like Yo, that was uh that was difficult. Wrong. Jeez. Very good. Ah, that's it. Whoa. whoa. Ow. Okay. No. Ah, that's it. Come on. Ow, got right. it. Ow! Hey, I was done. Very well then. Let's see what you're made Wrong. Of. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. Oh shit! Oh, I'm, ew, ah. yo, advanced moves on the new, uh, rookie man. That's not nice. Aha! Oh, did you see that? Did you see that, pops? Oh shit! Come on. Breathe. Poke. Gotcha. Ow. Stop it. The dildo. Yeah, this guy definitely has the ow tough love. Oh, I hit you. Old man, getting slow. Huh? Arthritis kicking in. Huh? A little bit of gout. Ow. Yeah. Pikachu fainted. Fine enough. If you're not a complete dead loss, it'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. All right. Wrong. Not bad. Well done. Right, that's it. All right. Bing bong. Bing right. bong. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Ow. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. 
Ow. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ah. Nice. No. Soon again. Soon as uh, something. I'm trying to read here. Uh. Try and catch the rhythm. Fully deflect. You need you to time your block time into it. Press Q as soon as a strike starts. You can also follow up a perfect block with immediate strike. Wrong, damn it! I am blocking. Oh. Very good. Okay, that's like really tough to time, man. No, not like that. All right. Okay, that was a good one. The diagonals are hard to pull off for some reason. Very good. Cool. Okay, basically. Uh, that's it. Okay, I get it. You you hold block and you and you swing your weapon like if you were attacking in that direction. But the timing has to be like perfect. No, not like that. I just leveled up. I think I did that too early. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right. Now we'll try to Difficult. Concentrate. Have you seen the UI for normal difficulty? Yes, I have. It's quite nice. Very good. No, that's not good. No, again. Man, this thing's jank. Wrong, <laughs> Come on. Wrong. There we go. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. Cat jumped on my lap. Nice. Oh, I got it. Nice. I have to do it not too early because of the slow motion. There we go. Nice. Good. The training was over. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Let's go. Ow. Was that good? What am I doing? Captain Bernard. Damn it. Wait a while, Henry. Okay. Phew. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? Oh, by the way, chat, if you're curious about hardcore difficulty, uh, I made a command right here. If you write down hardcore, should give you the information about the hardcore difficulty. It's quite extensive. So. I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sarad's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sarad's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. All right, are we going to do the archery training? I actually like archery, so... Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Okay. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. Wait, what's the you button? See me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's it. Got it. All right. 
Is it really that easy? Very good. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. No, first learn how to take a beating so you know how important it is to dodge, Jiong san Makes sense. thing for today a trick you raise the sword to force your opponent to block but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment and the opponent won't even know what hit him a faint Try it. draw back the weapon then change the attack zone and strike so i don't have time to react Ugh. Wrong. wait prepare to strike by holding this then change the zone Ugh. oh i got it nice yeah, that's it Wrong. Ugh. No, again. Ugh. No, not like that. Ugh. Nice. Nope. Wrong. Some of these, the timing is like really hard to get. Ugh. Very good. Ooh. Well done. Ugh. Well done. Very good. Well, now that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Hard and persistently. Practice. You might yes, have coach. Talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Yeah, but he he charges, doesn't he? Don't leave yet. Zaradzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Okay. That's very good practice we got. Uh, did we... Yeah, we picked up a sword skill, actually. So, blunt strike. Stab. Slash, slash. Short sword, hunting sword, and saber. And this is only for long sword. Oh, so we already have to choose if we want to go for a sword and shield or a two-handed sword. The long sword. <sighs> Hmm. Short sword hunting. Yeah, because then... Ooh. Instead of starting to strike something. I think I would go for a sword and shield. Although long sword would be fun too. Only charges when it comes for him to improve said skill you want. Just practice or teaching you some moves are free. But he could kick our ass and uh, inflict wounds, I guess. Long sword. Brave under wrist. Long sword, short sword. So yeah, basically when it comes to swords, we have to decide if we want to go weapon and shield or long sword. However, I get the feeling that we might want to go weapon and shield because you could go sword, axe, and mace and shield. And there's only one two-handed weapon, which is the long sword, not counting the um not counting the spear, which is like a temporary uh weapon. Don't think you usually use the spear all that much, although it's OP, I believe. Yeah, I think I'll go for the uh, I'll go for a weapon and shield for now, and uh, we may get enough points in it to go for both, because uh, we get three, five, eight, ten, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. We get perks on it, and it's enough to pick up everything here, or just about one, three, five, eight. What was it? Three, five, uh, so three, six, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost. Wait, can can you use a shield and a longsword? Or just joking? I don't think you can. The hunting sword was pretty cool, too. It's like a falchion. Sword and saber. Stab slash slash. Turn your weapon around and strike. Actually, you can really. That changes things. Okay, so maybe we should grab the long sword for uh, for swords and keep that. I think it just uses a little bit more stamina to swing. Really. Hmm.
All right, you know what? I think I'm going to do a poll so that chat could, uh, could decide, and I'll blame him for the results if it's bad. Cool. So, um, short sword or long sword? So, one-handed swords. Spurs. Two-handed swords. No, it's right. You can't write that much into the pull options. Long swords or short swords. There we go. I'm gonna put it up for three minutes, and that way I'll go to the bathroom in the meantime. All right, poll is up. Short sword or long sword build, chat. I'll go to the bathroom and be right back. Don't move. And get your votes in. Vote, vote, vote. Democracy and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, please don't shoot and hate son. Uh, it's simply this poll is simply for if we go with the short or the long swords when it comes to swords. Doesn't mean that we'll be beelining just that. I like maces, I like axes, I like many types of weapons, so we might go into all of those. So let's see what we got here. Blocking an opponent's strike with your shield will cost you 30% less stamina. That's a good one to get. Especially since we'll be using a shield every now and then. Final offer. When trader loses patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer. That's not bad. Then we get highborn or lowborn. I think I'm going to take the highborn with this character because I would take lowborn with the other if ever I made him. Increase your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the lowborn perk. Yeah, I'm going to be taking Highborn. Short Swords wins with 60%. Short Swords it is. All right, so that's a blunt, blunt strike. Instead of a started strike from the right, unexpectedly I, strike unexpectedly at your opponent's face. I like that. Turn your weapon around his and strike him quickly with the blunt end. If you have a shield, use it. Use its edge for striking. So basically, I'm going to shield bash the guy right in the face with the rim. Cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks for voting, everybody. Just about. Let's continue. Let's see. Blunt strike it is. We got a lot of perks out of this. Do you have any more stuff to pick up? Don't think so. Bunk. All right, let's go archery training. Oh, 
wonder, did you did you beat up my armor? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. Bernard, Bernie. Don't mind if I call you Bernie, do you? My bright. What the hell's that? It looks like uh, Ichinasi. Whatever. Maybe that's the same plant. Who knows? Yeah, it messes up my stuff. Well, then again, we get really good XP, so it's worth it. It's worth it. And again, that uh, that tourney costs a lot of money, and uh, I was going to repay the apothecary, so I guess we're going to have to pick a lot of sage before we go see him. Oh, pick. Pick. There you go. Ow. I'm okay. When's the last time I saved? Quite a long time ago. My favorite mechanic of all time. Ah, I know you love it, Gion. Will you move, doggo? Just wish the dog would stay behind me. I'm free, huh? What's this? Hey, herbalism. I think that's level 8. We're two away from getting leg training. Leg day. Brings us up to... Yeah, level 8. Two more. We're gonna get uh, leg day, which is really good. Leg to go. Alright, I have to go to the archery range for training. And you know, there's a... I, I might save scum the archery part of the... And I think you could... Or was it? Is there like a little hidden nook? Did I pass it? Let's go here. Oh, I think it was under that shit. I think it was under the bridge. Oh. Vitality increase. It's probably from the sprinting. Yeah, it's pretty... The The archery range is pretty well hidden. There it is. So yeah, uh, the reason why I want to save is that I really want to beat Sir Capon and show him what's what. Gonna preemptively pick some herbs just to get ready, get in the zone. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Ouch. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> we look like Take shit. Tanks and get in position. Fan braces. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were hey, I hit it on my first shot. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target. And Damn it. Jesus Shoot away. Just what you have off. there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Oh, it's actually pretty hard to hit dead center, chat. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will hey, come of him. Hey, he bought my scarf. Of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. 
After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself... We're actually going to become pretty chummy with uh, Sir Capon here. Me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Hmm? All right. Is my bow out? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, boy. Kicking his ass. Eat that. First try. Hang slow there, old man. Take your time, princess. Nice shot. 16 to 6. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sword fight now. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know. You always have people that say, oh, controller was hard. Listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa. Hey, these aren't wooden swords. Excuse me? Ow. Damn it. Missed. Gotcha. Stab that pretty face. Not a good move. Damn it. Oh, did that hurt? Ow, that hurt. No! Damn it, block! Henry, block! I can't lose. I can't lose. I can't lose. Oh, he's he's hurting too. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, run at me. Oops. No. Had enough. Damn. Curse it. How about you? No! I can't use basic strikes because he's gonna counter me every time. He's more skilled than me. That's why I'm going for cheap shots. Gotcha! Jerk face. Not yet. No! No! Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my. No, 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 no. I want to redraw. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you. I think I'm allowed one more try at that chat. Godspeed, blacksmith.
And don't worry, this isn't the last time. Because he cornered me at some point and was just bum rushing me and I wasn't able to block. Do it. I'm gonna try again, chat. I used. I used one of my uh, savior schnapps. I'm gonna use the, the power of the savior schnapps. But I have to do the archery again, though. I want that bow, too. I want a proper bow, not a little beepy boo. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand. And yeah, you got a boss. Now concentrate. A concentrate. bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. If you wouldn't have gotten far there, they're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. Until you get a few levels into the bow, it's really hard to shoot with it. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. All one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't... Oh yeah, uh, stand right there, Sir Hans. Oh yeah, Sir Hans, he died in a training I like exercise. Said, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Calm down. Bro. I don't have... I, it's about, it's about still some time for Gwent. Let's go. Oh, that was off. Nice. Can I get more than 16 this time? Mm, need a bull uh, bullseye right there. Oh, 20. Yeah, I want another attempt at that sword fight. It was pretty clutch and uh, got me cornered at a certain point and then everything just went nuts. Okay, I go. I get three extra points because I finished first. Gotcha. Almost had that. double his points, man. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last... I have a heavy hand when I bash his head in. About, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. So how... I... If we... All right, let's go. And it's like, sword fight! Oh, shit! Nope! And get cornered. Bring it on. Damn it. Woo. Gotcha. Ah, shit. Follow up strike. So annoying is that people, when they're more advanced than you like this, they counter everything. So basically, I have to get him through his little gaps like that. Like, I can't even use my basic attacks against him. Come on, run at me. When you're just the right distance, he's going to start running at you. Just normal sprint, you know? 
And he uh, completely drops his guard when he does that. Oh, we're too close. Oh, almost had him there. I have to cheese him to death. Oh! Oh! What you can do there. Oh! Almost. Oh, shit. Ah, almost had a perfect block there, I think. Huh. Damn it. Freaking slow motion. Got two level ups there. Come here, Lily Liver. Would you call me? There you go, you blue blooded. Well, you got the better of this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Yeah. You're all right, sir. Don't worry, you'll make coughing up blood. Hole in your spleen. We'll see each other again soon enough. Is that uh, you can keep your bow. liver leaking? Best years are behind it anyway. Whew. All right. Yeah, boy. So we don't have the uh, we don't have the stats to use it, but this is like pretty pretty top tier uh, stuff when it comes to bows. Look at that, three hundred twenty seven groschen worth bow. Looking uh, a little bit beat up there, Mister Capon, or should I say, Mister Caput? Yeah, that's what you get. Let's uh, wash. <laughs> All right, second attempt, not bad, not bad. You have anything to say? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Oh yeah, how about that? I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Hmm. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. Yes, sir. All right, Captain. Woo! Metal. Always get distracted. It's not a nerd. Let's go, Mutt. Good boy. Go pee on Sir Capon. Alright, so I know that the local huntsman here, he has a really weird request. Where is he? Is he here? I uh, guess not. I think I know where he is. Uh, it's the quest that the innkeeper was talking about. You're not my dog. <laughs> yeah, I think it's this guy over here. You'll pay good money also for anything we bring back from Hunt. Ooh, free soup. Speaking of which, yeah, we've been fighting for a while. Let's uh, let's get some food in us. 1.2, this and that. This doesn't seem to be going old, which is quite nice. Huntsman Berthold. My respects to you. My respects to you. Right, do we have anything he would want? Okay, he'll buy the herbs, which is quite nice. Yeah, we got a few. We got a few. Holy shit. Uh, sell all of that. Sell all of that. Poppies. Dandelions. Chamomile. Okay, I just have to make sure we have like uh, 30 or so herbs left after that. Valyrian will keep, this will keep, Marigold will keep, Eyebright and Comfrey as well. So that's uh, 9, 14, 
16, 20, 29. Okay, just need to keep a, a bundle of those. We should still have our, uh, our stat bonus with that. Or will we? Wait a second. Did I do that right? 9, 14, 19, 21. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 30 groschen out of that. Let's talk about the price. This is why uh, you do herbalism, chat. You can try it. Agree? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. All right, so? Thank you. We are now up to 48. I need like two groschen to be able to pay back the apothecary. Am I? Oh, I don't need these anymore. Okay, let's sell the plate counters and be done with it. Also, let's actually uh, equip them. I'm not sure if this will help, but if I equip them and clean... That's a tanning basin. Don't clean yourself in that. Let's see if this cleans up the armor. Yeah, it does. Cool. Yeah, let's put on the van braces. We'll keep for that. And the blacksmith here is going to pay us a little bit for the uh, counters. We want to become chummy with this guy because we're going to be seeing him a lot, I think. Actually, no, let's go see the armor smith. He's a dedicated armor smith. He might give us a better price for it. And with that, we'll be able to pay back the apothecary. And then I want to double check if I still have to pay 50 to the miller because I want to pay 50 to the apothecary before I pay to the miller because the miller is an asshole. Excuse my French. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, armor smith is over here. Wait a second. Is there a weapon smith there? Ah, oh, okay. There's a weapon smith beside the armor smith. Right. Okay, armor smith. My respects to you. Thank you. Okay, let's sell that. Six only? Okay. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Are we agreed? Close. All right, so. Yep. Six point four. There you go. All right, let's go see the apothecary pay our debt because we are a man of our word. We are up to 54, just enough. Everybody was like, oh, you're going to have to resort to thievery. To you. That's why I say to it uh, about that about debt. That debt. I don't pay anything. Good thing I didn't pay. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, no, no. I don't have any money. But he could train us in alchemy later. Also, look at this. All the pretty little potions and whatnot. This one kind of looks like... Uh... Yeah, let's not talk about it. Aqua Vitalis, Nighthawk Potion, Buck's Blood, Cockroll Potion, Digestive Potion, Marigold Decoction, Aesop, Lullaby... You sell sh save your schnapps. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, hey there, shop guard. Yeah. Hey. He's looking at me like, try it. All right, we have to talk to the bailiff, right? The bailiff is somewhere over here, I believe. Yeah, this is the guy. Jesus Christ be praised. Oh, yeah, you sound super enthusiastic. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. <laughs> hey, he does not have a quest, but... 
I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. Oh, no. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yes. Uh, it was quite an ordeal. I have. And I have the bruises to prove it. A captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav, the watchman, Nightingale, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Some free gear, yes, you sir. say? Oh, and I got 60 groschen. Let's look at that. Take care of it. Train hard, fight easy. Oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. Um, did it, did he say we have to go at night? Join Nightingale on patrol between 11 a.m. and 9. Pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. That here? I don't remember. I think it might be. I think there might be a passage under here or something. That's not it. Uh. Uh. Yeah, this place, man. Whoa! Shit, might be that. Ooh, nettle. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Is he here? Um. Yeah, maybe not. Hey, I could do alchemy here. Yo. Just sneak in and do some uh, alchemy behind the back of the apothecary while he isn't looking. Ow. What's in here? Stop. No stealing. Despite my uh, gamer sense. We loot. Anyway, did I miss the door? So this is locked. This is the tailor's. This is... Something. There's too many doors in this place. Ah, this might be it. Wait, this looks like a dungeon or something? This is a dungeon. Oops. Is there anybody in here? And we do not want to end here. So he said, um, optional, pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. The armory in the castle, maybe? Hmm. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, west log. Keep the peace. Show. Yeah, side. Scavenger. Peshek has a job for me, the good thief. That's fine. What about... Do I have a marker on here or not? When it comes to picking up my... gear. Oh, also, we got a perk, chat. Strength. There we go. Oh, man, I want them both. Okay, so we could pick up Clinch Master or Mule. Now, Clinch gives you a 40% higher chance of overpowering your opponent in Clinch. It happens so often that we're overpowered, but this one gives us 15 pounds more carrying capacity, so they're both really good. I think I'll go for Mule, and then I'll probably get Clinch. You can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. Yeah, I don't need that. And tight grip. Your stamina regeneration will not slow in combat, even on the weapon backswing. That seems good, too. I'm going to want Clinch, Mule, and tight grip. We get these at levels... Every other level up. Oh, I think we're fine then. Yeah, you don't want all of these. 
Yeah, let's start with Mule, then we'll get Clinchmaster. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind that. What is this place, anyway? Am I even supposed to be here? Nope. Okay. Last place I'll check here is uh, somewhere around here. Maybe there is uh, access to the armory that I didn't see. Is this like a balcony or something? This is a freaking maze. Oh, we're back here again. Okay. That's a lockpick. If I have to lockpick it, I should not be there. It's likely. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Maybe it's in the castle or something. Secret door here, no doubt. <laughs> Thought this was the guardhouse, but it's the bailiff's office. So we have to find a guardhouse. Is it gonna be that castle or that one? I think I'll try up here. Excuse me? Uh, any? What can I do for you? Just a few little things. What kind of stuff Good do you sell? You. Thank you. You too. Good luck to you. So you sell food, basically. <laughs> Yawn. The usual or something else. Excuse me. Just need to stock up on supplies. Thank you. Okay, which one is the guardhouse? Because I don't have all these indicators on me. Let's see. Can I, like... Um... Show... On map. Aha! Okay, so B... So I have to meet Nightingale here. And here is where I have to go pick up my stuff. And this is at the base of a tower across from the archery range. Let's see. So yeah, without uh, on hardcore difficulty, it's a lot more. Uh, how can I say engaged to find your objectives? To an extent, yeah. Uh, that might be a bit of an overgeneralization, but yeah. So is that the place? All right, I think it's this tower. Have you? I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. Oh That's boy! All. You want a kiss and a hug as well? <laughs> I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Fair enough. Probably gonna sell it, to be honest. Alright, common bassinet. Well, this one's cleaner. Light padded gambeson. So it's better in... Not much. Yeah, it's not good. Padded coif. Yeah, it's really not much. And a bludgeon. He gave me a stick, chat. Give me a stick. Call that a mace. Look at this shit. Look at this. It's a freaking baton. What do I look like, a bobby? <laughs> Just might. It's a stick. Alright, I guess we'll sell the excess stuff. What 
We should probably grab a little bit of a rest before we do uh, our little nighttime patrol. I'm at 2.36? Yeah, we got that. Okay, let's go uh, before the sun sets. Oh, yeah, it's getting late already. Holy crap. Other than dicks. Uh, yeah. No, I would I would become crazy hearing somebody scream bread bread all day. Let's see, sell that, sell that, sell that, and we're good. Let's talk natural. What do you say to this? Close. Is this enough? We're getting there. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a decent... Alright. Onions that are leave. Oh, sh uh, So, between... 11 and 19? Wait, wait, wait. So it's now. That was for the evening. What time is it? Oh, shit, it's too late. Damn it. So I have to meet him tomorrow. I mean. Okay, do we have 50? Oh yeah, we got money. We got money. Yeah, let's go pay off the miller because it, I still had the message optional pay back the miller. And well, how can I say? He did he did put up with us despite being a douche. So Oh jeez, look at this. Look at this. Yikes. So when we're going to be done for today, we're not going to be um, saving with the Savior Schnapps. We're probably going to hit up the, um, the bathhouse and do the, the full Monty so that we get a, um, a save. Because essentially, if you do... Uh, if you... if How can I say? If you employ the services of the bathhouse you and get the, the full... The full combo, you get a save, essentially, from what I understood. Is that... Is, yeah, this one. Well then, I hope that chat is enjoying the series, because uh, it's off to a strong start, I feel. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Hope you're having fun. I got my shtick ready to beat up some peasants. Lay down the law. Obey your lord! Now give me some unruly peasants. Ironically, you just walk past the, fr the free save. Sorry, what? I have scrutiny. <laughs> Good name. A free save, you say? Any? Could you be? Could you elaborate? That's something we could pick. That looks like something I could pick. There's a common area outside of each gate. Common area. Do you mean uh, just a place where I could rest and save? You mean uh, one of these down there? Yeah, because we could save by sleeping in the bed, right? Doesn't it, wasn't it like in a bed we own or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's go see the the miller. Cover our debt. Hopefully, it's gonna be less of a pain in the butt from now on. We could also put away Sir Sir Capon's bow, I believe. Because this we need. Five strength and agi. How are we looking on that? Strength is at four, agi is at three. It's not terrible. Falling will cost 30% less injury. 
Uh huh. Light armor. Gotta pay the bills. Hey, why can I not pick this up? There you go. Better pick some herbs, gotta pay the bills. Yo, nobody would be poor if it was that lucrative. Just pick some herbs, no problem. To solve the world hunger, just like that. Sometimes it's hard to target the herbs. At the mill is this one over here? Question mark? Yeah, there's Teresa. 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 Hey guys. Oops. Uh, well, let's praise the boy. He's a good boy. That's my boy. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. I'm not interested. The thing you wanted, I don't want to do it. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. I just wanna I just wanna make myself clear that I will not a good thief, there you go. I will not associate myself with this rogue. Let's see if there's anything that we want to put down. Do I? Yeah, I guess we could put away the bow for now. We won't be able to use it effectively. And if if I remember correctly, if you use a bow for which you don't have the stats here, your, your shot's going to be all over the place. Like, uh, like an old man. Knesh's keys. All right, what time is it? One and twenty-two. Let's see if we can talk to Teresa a bit. You know, flirt, whatnot. Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat age? No thanks. Henry, I'm so glad to see you. Really? What are you up to? How would you like to? Um, I don't know. Come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. Sure. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. I'd like to know... What do you think of Sir Hanish? Who's this Hans Capon? How are Scales folk getting on? What do you know about the humans? Who's this Sir Hans Capon? He's actually the real Lord of Rattay, and Sir Hanish is only his guardian, because Sir Hans is underage and his father is dead. Folks say he's a spoiled... Sir Hans is underage? For the lasses. How old is he? He looks like he's 26. 30. What do you think of the Lord here, Sir Hanish? He comes from the glorious line of the Lords of Lyper. Folks say he's a bit hot-headed, but he took us in, so he must be a good Christian. How are the Scallets folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving any time soon. So, how do you like it in Rattay? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but... 
for how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. That's all. I should go. Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about Scalix. I don't remember much. A all right. What do you want to know? Just get me here. How did you get me away from Scalix? It wasn't easy. Sir Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibashek with them. They won't be safe in Scalitz for a while yet. Mm. Why would Zibashek do that? I never thought hey, much of lad. him, but banditry... Don't you want a little he was always a nasty on the piece of work. Morning. Doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me... Then you... Tell me. When those... Cumans, they call them. When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard. Yeah, I enjoyed it uh, quite a bit as well. It's just you have to be uh, like mentally prepared for it because it's it's significant. I might do it tomorrow for tomorrow's stream because we'll be streaming the game tomorrow as well. Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. Not Elena. I'm about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir Radzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. What happened to the other survivors from Scalitz? They sought refuge in Rattay. Also, not knowing the age is no excuse, Vega. Some folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz, and Matthias? Johanka, did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka Merhoyed. is in Sassau, and Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush, he's the Lord of Ratay. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanush lives at the upper castle. The Scalitz folk have made camp in front of it. How did you get away from those Cumans? You're wrong. If it hadn't been for you. When they came to the mill, they slaughtered everyone. And kept me for last. After you distracted them, I fled to the mines to find my brother. But he... My brother was dead. But I owe my life and more to you. And I owe mine to you. The scales are balanced. Mm. I won't trouble you anymore. Let's leave it be. All right, in the future, we will uh, see about uh, properly courting Teresa. She's a good woman. All right, can I sleep in this? I think I can. Also, which bed did I sleep in? Shit. Did I sleep in this bed or this one, chat? Hmm. I'm pretty sure Teresa sleeps upstairs. Where do we sleep? That is very wise, Kevin. Anyway. Big dodo. We might get woken up in the middle of the night because we're in the wrong bed. Oh, looks like it was the right one. Alright, we're up. That way our nightmares will have time to dissipate before we do our little quest. Ooh. 
mud. You get to use some food, huh? That's a good boy. Mm -hmm. oh, his attitude is changing. Yeah, we could go to the butchers and get him some fresh meat, something cheap, maybe. Or we could try, uh, we could try poaching something ourselves. But we don't have a, don't have like a, a functional bow. We should get it. We should get a training bow if we can. I think it's the lowest tier one, which is good for practice. Don't want to buy one though. What a beautiful day for picking herbs, said Henry every single day of the year. Never skip leg day. Oh, we didn't eat, damn it. Could have eaten at the uh, thing behind. But you said you will not steal. How are you going to get one without buying one? Uh, by having it disappear from somebody else's possession. And finding one by, by chance. Yeah. Oops. Did I poison myself? We're fine. We're at 99 health. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't eat in those mushrooms so much. I feel funny. Why is the sky green? Why are my fingers scissors? What's she looking at? That's nothing. Yeah, they worked pretty darn hard on uh, making this environment, didn't they? Sleep in these? I oh, get sleep in them too. Crazy. Little refugee camps we're allowed to use. Yikes. Oop. Yoink. Free food. Mm hmm. Look at this little encampment. How quaint. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, no. Whoa! No. <laughs> Everything's fine. Physics just went kind of whack for a second there. Let's be careful. Piggy! That's a big pig. Holy shit. Free food. Yoink. I'm just stuffing my face whenever I can with Henry. Are you death? Um, I am not death. As far as I know, Yanko Letty. Nor am I dead. Fred! Fred! All that black makes you look dim? Oh, does it? Oh, take it as a compliment. Grim, not dim. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. Let's go uh, back to the archery range. See if there's anything we can pick up for free, like arrows stuck in the in the targets. Also, nettle. Look at that AOE. No worries. Oi. 
Come on, Henry. Hey. There we go. Let's see if we can't get anything here. I should have done so earlier. Oh, then again, uh, during the archery competition, we, we we didn't really have a choice. We were warped to and fro. All the arrows are still here. It's tournament arrow. What's this? Marked arrow for use in games. Probably stab damage. I don't know. It's uh, free shit. Free arrows. We use these until we get something else, I guess. And you just like travel. Oh. A steel. Wait, those aren't mine. Get arrested for what crime? Those weren't stolen. These were mine. Capon's arrows were his. Oops. Pick up. Hmm. God be with you. God be with you. Mm. Oh, bows are expensive. Holy shit. Yeah, we have to kill somebody with a bow. A bandit. And take his bow. I should have taken one from the uh, guardhouse in... Um, Bomberg? Was that the name of the place? Anyway, oh, no. Uh, the Huntmaster is... Shit, where's the Huntmaster? I think he's over here. What is this? Cobbler, maybe? Yep. Wow. Good morning. Morning. Oops. What do you got? Burger slippers, cobbler's kit. Dark riding boots. Ooh. Decorated riding boots. 1k groschen. Holy shit. Old boots. Foot wraps. Thigh boots. Breaking boots. Is there a way of seeing if like they're more resistant than anything else or have more durability? 50. Ah, there you go. 50. These boots have 25. These have 45 burger slippers, 40 boots, 50. Like, if you go into the fancy stuff, their ability is 70, 50, 95 for the pilgrim shoes. Those are made for walking. Why would pilgrim shoes cost 790 groschen? What the hell? 75 on the leather boots. So our current old boots, which are like falling apart. Yeah, these are going down quick. Holy shit. Just from walking around, they're down to 50%. So maybe we should get uh, something that has a little bit more durability, like the high boots or the working boots. No. These ones. Yeah, these high boots are quite nice. They cost 12.6. We have... Would you be interested in some in some medals by any chance, madame? Let's talk about the pro Naturally. Agree? Well, a little I knew we There you go. Ah shit, I forgot to uh, sell the old ones. Damn it. I don't want these anymore. And I didn't want to do that. And sell, and armor. 
boots and check basket and just close the deal right away. There you go. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, what time is it? Eh, getting there. Oh. God bless you. That lady, that, 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 that lady just spawned in, didn't she? Boots are looking nicer. Kunesh, you bastard. Hmm. All right, uh, Butcher is here, if I recall, right beside our objective, too. Posture check, huh? Good call. Is there a minotaur behind this? Good morning. Morning. Chicken or horse meat? There you go. Mutt. Come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? That's my boy. I can see his mood improving. Good. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. There you go. Enjoy. Look at that big piece. Just for you, boy. Go big and strong. You good boy. Obedience 100. Nice. Mm. Heal. Free. Go back to the mill. Maybe I have to ch uh, teach him different uh, commands or something. Also, is there a gambling area on here? Ooh, let's sell, let's sell our herbs first. First things first. God be with you. Who can teach me to read? To learn to read? Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Hmm. Let's see. Yoink. See, Marigold, Humphrey, Eyebrae. That's 20 right there. I could sell all that Marigold as well, I think. Uh, Yeah, I think I have it all. Um, I'm actually going to double check. I think I have them all. 11. Let's talk about the... No. That's better. Alright. A nice song. Damn it, dude. I knew we Okay. How's our reputation looking here, by the way? Player, reputation. Ravna zero. Rate is at fifty-three. Better than in Tomberg. Oh, so you have different yeah. I don't know if I noticed this before. You have different tabs. You have subdivisions. Subdivisions of reputation. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. So uh, let me check the DLC that I have. Please don't shoot. <clears throat> I think I bought a large bundle on, on special. Very heavy special. Let's see. I have a woman's lot. I have Band of Bastards. I have the amorous adventures of bold Sir Hans Capon. Got From the Ashes. And I have Treasures from the Past. What I don't have is like uh, OST stuff and HD texture packs. 
I have the HD sound pack though. Oh, that's free. That's fine. Oh wait, the HD texture pack is free too. Oh. Yeah, I think I got everything. Cool, right? So I uh, the only stuff I don't have is fluff, like OSTs and art books and whatnot. So we're going to be doing all of that, or just about. Time's up. Okay, I need a little bit of time to pass here. Onions that'll even make your man cry like a little lion. Perfect. Okay, let me just sit here. I'm going to go get a refill of my drink, but I'm going to leave it running in real time. Just so that time moves by a little bit. So enjoy the view, chat. Be right back. by Sigismund's hordes. Bread, fresh bread, bread, rolls, buns, and pretzels for you. Great, spades, forks, and axes, all you need to pay for the day. Bake a bit, you'll be able to feed the whole family with fresh bread. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the night. I had it all. Alright. Sorry about that, but I was getting really thirsty. Bread baked, just a little bit too much salt in my bread. snack, maybe. I put some ground almonds in it, uh, which are cheese. Baskets for goods and torches. Kettles for water. Is that how you sling your goods, chat? Kettles for water. Jesus. Chill, bro. I would say, would you like water, kettle? That's how you do it. Maybe my game volume is just a little bit too high. <laughs> Hey, is that Nightingale? Nope. So you should be somewhere around here. Oh, you see, we got a nest somewhere around here. Ah, oh, there's one. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Imagine somebody's just passing by and I accidentally club them right upside the head. Almost get it. Oh, what about a poke? Why is my character not attacking? There you go. Right. Poke it out. I guess you have to use a bow. All right, let's put our m weapon of mass destruction away. <laughs> hey, Taco. You don't like the competition, but, huh? Who's taking a gander? Oh, this is Nightingale. There we go. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. All right. Okay. I mean, I guess we could both wait and stare at each other for like 30 minutes. You know, I guess uh, let's pick some nettles. Thank you. Watch me do it. It's like we're both here, dude. <laughs> My shift doesn't start until another or another 30 minutes, so yeah, it's not gonna happen. You're one of those employees, are you? 
Nice. Is that level 9 or 10? It's level 9 in herbalism. One more, chat. One more and we get leg day. Power squats. Work those hemis. Trample the graves. Pick the nettle. What do you... Oh, you didn't just drink out of that puddle of mud, did you? Oh, jeez. As one tiny muddy puddle. Ooh, What's. Hey, what do you think pays more? A guard's salary or picking nettles? My money's on nettles. Gonna go by every peasant's house going like, What are you doing? You got money growing out of your ground. You're like, I'm so poor, please. Give me money, sir. God who picks nettles. Good answer, please don't shoot. Good answer. So you go on patrol duty and you pick up nettles. Profit. And then when people are like, why are you kneeling down in that bush? And you say, I'm looking for a foot pad, sir. There he goes. That way. And you point behind him. Oh, access to the battlements here. Let's check it out. Just out of curiosity, you know? I don't usually spend too much time exploring uh, towns and games, but this this is like the real OG shit right here, so this is legit. You die either way. Yeah, pretty much. That's the tannery down there. Oops. No, I'm not going to steal. I already have Darkest Dungeon, and I don't want to touch it anymore. That freaking game pissed me off so much. But thanks for the tip. Anybody else that wants Darkest Dungeon, I could... Uh, uh, I could encourage you buying it, I guess. Yeah. If you're not the type to get angry when you play and when you play at games, Darkest Dungeon may be for you. If, like me, the Crimson Mist calls out to you, well, maybe don't. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder if there's herbs to pick inside the church. Ooh. But if by mercy we take refuge, O oh blessed Virgin, to stay in your past supplication. Now, are you the asshole that was talking shit about me? Rate Parish Priest looks like you. In nome de Patris, it fili. Espiritum Sancti. Amen. As long as this nettle is not a gimpy gimpy, you should be okay harvesting it like that. Yep. Jesus! Was a pretty nice guy. He was a carpenter. A poor man at that. Yet very rich in qualities and characteristics. And... He was a river to his people, which is why he was so poor. Yeah, there's not a single bench. You could fit a lot more people standing. That's why. Black neck. It's a commoner's church. Hmm. Ooh, free water. <laughs> Why did you just start drinking out of the holy basin? Hmm. Oh, shit. Really, lady? Which god? Not my gods. <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, smaller churches like this, they didn't have benches, I think, because you could fit so many. So many more people standing. Praise the sun. Hell yeah. I see you're kitted out. Yep. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yeah, that's me. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. 
She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. It's gonna give us, like, well, relationship you advice. The service of the bailiff. I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Check up on the taverns? All right. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you... Quality something. control all well, the I'm alcohol. to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Give me one of everything. Hi, I don't watch your stream as much as I'd like to, but I just wanted to drop by and say great choice of game carry on the good vibes steve pete i remember you uh thank you so much for the support and the kind words thanks i appreciate it steve pete i haven't seen you in a while but uh, i remember your name it serves not only as the house of god but as the crypt of the lords of lipa our masters the grave digger lives right round the corner the priest too our parish priest is it busy ah. A man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. No. It's been working. It was awful. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside. Jeez, the overlapping dialogue of the NPCs. We have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. Oh yeah, executioners didn't typically typically live in the town where they would work. Hillary was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Okay. It's giving us the tour. Is there a button to walk like not too fast? What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Whoa. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough? Excuse me? Looks awesome, even more than on my Stop computer. Did you mod this game? About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. A minute. My name is Jane. Name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Whoa. It looks awesome even more than on my computer. Did you mod this game? I did not. The game is vanilla and it's on high-ish settings for the most part. I think I just put down post-processing down a little bit, remove motion blur, and I think that's it. I take off bloom and motion blur in all games I play. How is she bothering you, Master? No problem. Do you have the bag right here, Jane? You call yourself a Christian armor? Drive the beggar away. You should let her stay, Master Armor. Sort out between you. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. No problem, no problem. You have... You have to beg right here, Jane. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Hey! Miss K is lurking. Can't keep walking all day Gonna go eat? Oh, bon appétit. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Yeah. Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms? Even to this witch only yesterday. Is that true? Might be. Might not. Oh, Did you get any alms Lenick. or not? Working them gum gumming. Yes. From the armorer here. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Give Jane arms armor. We'll both contribute to poor Jane. Give a groschen to the beggar. Give a groschen to the beggar. Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right Problem away. Problem solved. One groschen. Right 
Hey, good God to see you, Linux. Thanks for tuning in. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Sacrio? Who's Sacrio? Jane. God be with you. Do you need anything? God bless. Generic skeletons, uh, dialogue. Your old neighbors are living. Sacrio. Oh, Sacrio is a bit of a shithole. Even bit of a so, shit. you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Mm. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Don't eat the beggar mud. Father, you don't know where it's been. May God rest his soul. Kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. I um I really like this um Nightingale character because he has like the whole like older older colleague approach where he shows the kids around. I had a colleague like this in the funeral trade. He called me kid despite being in my late twenties. And the guy was like fuck. Uh he was like mid sixties too, you know, so I was very young compared to him. Just looking for herbs while we patrol Nightingale. Don't, this square don't mind here, me. It looks much better during the markets. Oh yeah, and uh, Lennox, your streams definitely gave me the around. bug back for uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's a game that I always wanted to stream, and when I saw you stream, and it just like <clears throat> really made me want to play it. I think it's an awesome game. Matt, will you shut up? You already had food today. We've also got the baker's shop here, and Ooh. that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign. Pretty daughter, you say? None too happy about Woo! I heard grenade! The poor lass locked up at home all day. Yannick, man. <laughs> Medieval grenade! Thanks for the 100 Look bits, Yannick. Here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna rough him up like on cops. Holy grenade. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm I like the splint arm guards there. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Beggars at the church. Here on the Ooh, square, nettle. The trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Ooh, nettle. Ooh, nettle. Ooh, nettle. I mean, we're moving so slow that I could run around and harvest herbs and power level my herbalism. Only need one more, chat. One more point and we get leg day. I'm going to become big and strong. Is this something I could harvest by any chance? Doesn't look like it. One nettle. I'm here. Right here, dude. Here I am. Come on. Now where was I? Ah. But don't drink that water. It's filthy. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble, and he's not working at the moment. But his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us. Mm -hmm. 
What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Oh. He... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's Thank cool. You. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Nightingale gets free credit because he's a cool guy. Is that like mistletoe or something? Here, just as you ordered. I gotta do a little quality inspection in the ale house, so I'll take all your brandies, all your alcohols. One of each. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It can no. take you a year to make head or tail of it. Well said. I mean, just Our getting used Arthur to all these laws. Uh... Oops, sorry. Sir had it extended and made into an armory. Yeah, this is where we picked up our kit earlier. My livelihood. You're about to you about oops. Good day to you. May the Lord I was uh, about to say you're about to lose your nettle too. Yoink. Yoink. I'm right here. Present. Here I am. Come on. Yeah, I know you're here. So you don't miss anything. What's this? Is this something? Doesn't look like it. Metal. Benish. Picking up all the flowers to gain strength. We've all been there. Yep. Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, God. he'll be in serious I've shit. From and being and a friend of his, you wouldn't want you that, would you? No. A so it's better if I deal with it despise. and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he uh -huh. went for an ale. We know how that goes. Fish posh. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler. Beat him up. Talk some sense into him. No, oh, okay, talk. Gotcha. Let's go. Talk with words. What the fuck are you doing here <laughs> when you're supposed to be on the gate? Nah. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Eh. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. <laughs> Let's have a drink. I'm fine with that. Sure. Here? Uh. That fool got me all worked up. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Shit, my, my view worry. is like Even stuck to the left because I turned my head. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Sure. Why not? Ah, okay, there we go. May the best man win. Alright, uh... Let's see if I can do you proud here, Lennox. Alright. 
yeah, let's roll again. Better not go bust. Are you kidding me? I went bust. I've only got two hands. That is so unlucky. Wow. That's it. Are you? That's all. Okay, is this like the legend of dice rolling I'm going up against? Good gods. Rigged RNG clear. Wow. Wow. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it and live with it. Hopefully he's gonna go bust. Now it's gonna roll the whole thing. Go bust. Nope. Bust. 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 They are never bust. Come on. Oh. Curse bust. Of luck. Yes. Okay. I have a chance to catch up here. Oh, do I have a straight? Uh, not quite. Okay. I if I get a bust here, man, with four dice, and be salty, 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 salty. Come on. Yes. Oh, almost a full hand too. Almost, but uh, yeah, I'm not re-rolling one dice. Score and pass. I just double check the button so I don't I don't press it wrong. So we almost caught up there, but he's playing before us, so we have to be careful. We'll see. Oh, that's uh. Okay, he almost had three three threes. That would have been bad. Come on, bust, bust, bust. Nope, that's a good roll right there. I roll the other one and uh, keep going. Now he's gonna. No point in pushing oh. it. Uh. Oof. Ish. Considering my luck I've had with dice today, no. I've had really bad rolls this today. Mm. Bust. Go bust. It's my only yeah, he has to go bust for me to win, essentially. We'll see. Damn it. Come on, roll and go bust. This'll be the one. Damn it! Coming. Axe. That's it. Bust! 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 No, you gotta find! Ah. Mm. Finished. Yeah, of course. Throwing two dice, still got it. Okay. I essentially, I have to go. I have to do a YOLO, or else uh, I'm dead. And that was pretty good. You got a YOLO. Let's go. Two dice. Oh, bust. Nope. <laughs> Did I'll you? At last. Wow. Did you see that uh, final roll? It's just like, hey, did you want to win? Too bad. Rip. <laughs> just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Yay. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate, we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. I like the brigandine that uh, see. Nightingale has. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. So you got metal that plates on the inside, inside of the armor, in case you didn't know, chat. Times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market. Poor square, man's plate. And make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Yes, sir. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Ew, fresh torch. Too slow. Bye. Have a good one. Oh, if you're off. Uh...
If you're off there, Steve, I'll see you around. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we got the nice torch now. I just put that in a random container. Ring the bell. Where was the bell? Shit, I didn't really listen. Did I have to pay attention to things? There it is. Ring the bell. It's down there. Righto. I have an idea where that is. Oh yeah, I know where it is. I, I know where it is. Each time I see that dress, I think of Bianca. Bianca, is that you? Oh, she dead, bro. Feels bad, man. Look at the cute little lanterns. Can we have those? I want a lantern, not a dingy torch. Stone Age stuff. Future is now. Yeah, I think I'm... It's right there, that the bill. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Close the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square. What is that? So I, now I have to run back. Oh. Uh, I guess the next one, maybe? Hey. Damn it, wasn't there a tavern like right here? This one. Nope. What's going on? And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk. <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see. We can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off. To look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to Pigs and pallets! God <laughs> save them bacon! <laughs> so Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need oh, to... But what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. He's wearing the same <laughs> scarf as we did. Been the alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? Rip. The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> No! Then what he wants... Got some power play going on here, chat. ...in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman! Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh, shit. I want to fight you, Hans. We're actually going to become friends with Hans Capon. Fairly enough, he grows on us like fungus. That'll show him. Ow. Wait, can you block with your fists? This is like my third fist fight. Or not? Just back up. That's how you do it. Back up. Even the jabs. Give that bastard something to remember. Hey. 
Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling but around dead. in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. That's fair. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Hey. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. The character development so, in I this game is um, not anymore. Amazing. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. That would be me as a lord. Make me a sandwich, peasant. What's for dinner? Am I done? Meet Lord Capon at dawn in the courtyard at the upper castle. Oh, jeez. All right, so I think we're going to sleep. We're going to sleep at the tavern uh, right around here. So that we could quickly make it to here at dawn. Yeah, it's actually fairly soonish. Let's go. Might want to buy a little bit of food. Hello. Are you still open? God be with you. Yeah, looks like he's still open. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. Could be. It might not be to your liking, though, on account of it's the executioner who's looking for someone. At least, that's what I've heard. Of course, folk here don't want to have anything to do with him. Only the more they avoid him, the more they gossip about oh. him. And that's not all. You're the blacksmith's son from Scalix, ain't you? The bailiff here could probably use you. Mm -hmm. He's got some jobs for the Scalitz refugees, but he's not sure who's good for what. He was moaning about it here yesterday. Nice. Do you know if there's anyone around? Hmm. No. Do you know if there's... Hmm. Why is it... It's not marked in grey, oddly enough. The fact that he has quests for us. Okay, let's buy... Hmm. What would be a good cost-efficient food? Not pretzels. Or sausage. Let's see. Cost efficient food. That's gonna not last very long, is it? Oof. A good amount of nourishment, though, out of the meats. How about that? 1.5 for 7 versus 1.5 for 16. I should probably just buy a little bit of mudden or something like that. Water gives a little bit of energy, though. That's good to know. And costs virtually nothing. Yeah, horse meat. That's probably like two horse meat. Ching. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, shit. Do we have a torch out? I do not have a torch out. You have to be mindful of that, chat. Could get fined. Let's go, mud. I'm for bed. That's pretty much convenient. Woo. 
Ooh, nettle. Middle of the night, perfect time for picking nettle. Did you know that? Ooh, daisies. Oh, it's chamomile. Oops. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, did I overshoot it? Uh... Oh, there it is. Without a map marker, uh, it's easy to get lost. My sense of direction is, uh, woo, not great, not great. Ah, ah, oh. oh, there it is. Pick it up. Uh, villager, villager, where's the innkeeper? I think that's the, uh, bar wench. Nail house made. My respects to you. Thank you. Is there somewhere I could sleep? I suppose, for how long? Just, here you are. You'll like it. God be with you. Thank you. So I have to get up a little bit before dawn, as far as I know. Alright, then let's just put a bunch of stuff here. Uh, probably just put all of these herbs. Oops. Oh! Oh no, that was everything. Okay. Good <laughs> That wasn't like all of that stack. It was everything. Damn it. Okay, let's try that again. Put everything. And here, let's pick up that. And do I have? Let's see. Lyrian. John's work. And Eye Bright. And I think that's enough herbs, right? I'm going to pick up a few bandages. All these groschen. Nesh's keys and whatnot. Don't need that. Could probably get rid of these eventually. Put away that extra torch and that bludgeon. For now, at least. Brings us down to 52 and 97. Very nice. Alright. Sleep and save. Oh shit, I forgot to eat. Eh, we'll be fine. Okay, so we only need to sleep to about here to be at 100%. about hitting in 20 seconds we will hit the seven hour mark of the stream nice big nice big stream today but that is where i will be leaving it for today chat beautiful perfect timing too listen i'd like to thank everybody that tuned in i really appreciate it. it was a pretty good stream today i enjoyed it and we had a few peeps around so that makes me very happy i will be getting back at kingdom come deliverance tomorrow at 9 a.m eastern all the way to 3 30 p.m I feel like I'm Asterix navigating the Tower of Crazy People uh, in Asterix and the Twelve Labors. Do you? Oh, because of work. So, yeah. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in. And listen, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the follow button if you haven't already. Even if you're listening in VOD format at a later date, it really helps us grow. And listen, uh, I'll be raiding a friend soon right after this so stay tuned on that and that being said do take it easy everybody wash your hands and stay salty folks see you tomorrow bye now